The Apex Predator has arrived. One of the all-time greats has seen and done everything there is to do in this business. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. That is for the WWE Universal Championship. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams, but Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper's schemes stay down for good. Always composed, always in control. No one is more calculated. Once legend killer, now possibly the greatest legend in WWE history. Make way for the double champ. And introducing the challenger, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now yeah. double it, and you can attitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. And introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, Weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. Movie star, good looks, charismatic as the day is long, and tough as nails. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. Well, remember, Knight has two decades of experience. He's held top titles all throughout the world, so he is more than ready for the stage of WWE. He is the Tribal Chief, the most dominant champion of this era. And introducing the champion, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. This is the man who unified the WWE and Universal Championships to become undisputed WWE Universal Champion. 
It was a history-making WrestleMania moment, and this man has had many of those. Uh, here's a question. What has Roman Reigns done that isn't history-making? I actually agree with you, Saxton, a man who has had an indescribable impact on this industry. He's carved his legacy in stone. A decade of dominance, even more powerful than ever. This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. The looks on these superstars' faces says it all. This is going to be one half of a fight. No one came here to lose, but there could only be one Universal Champion in the end. Better settle in, fellas. So many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is a time where a competitor will be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing over the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Combination there. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Brutal boot. The challenger eating up some damage. Lands the knee. Ooh, neck breaker. Oh. An attempt for the championship. The challenger fending off the two count. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. Max slam with some attitude. And this match will head back to the ring. Catching an elbow to the side of the face. The side rushing leg sweep with the championship on the line.
He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Looks like LA Knight has no respect for his competition. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with a simple but effective statement here. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. AJ Styles might be headed for a rear loss unless he turns things around. Kick to the gut. Another damaging Bang. kick. Oh, nice combo. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Setting up neck breaker position. Ooh, bang. Just cranking the head. That's gonna hurt. Styles not backing down one bit. Looks like he does want some. Oh no, I know what Randy's thinking. This won't end well. Championship! And he stops the count. Punch right in the head. And he sends him into the corner. Hooked up. Take a look. Here is your winner and the new WWE 
Universal Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. What an edge of your seat ending to this fatal four-way. All three of his opponents really made him fight.